What's up? Just wanted to hop on here for a second, give y'all an update. By the time y'all received this video, I have officially been shipped off of the Bill Clemens unit here in Amarillo, Texas. They found a way to, they found a way to ship me, man. And uh, I, it's a bittersweet thing, man, because I'm kind of glad to be getting off of this unit. At the same time, I feel like I'm leaving behind these guys who've been going through this stuff for so long and have been voiceless either because they're living in fear of retaliation or they just don't have anyone to advocate for them or know how to take that step, you know, in advocating for their self. And uh, so, yeah, it's a bittersweet thing, man, but I feel that a, a tactical retreat is not a surrender. The fight must go on. And I encourage each and every one of y'all who have loved ones who's housed on the Bill Clemens unit to tell your loved ones when they're subjected to these type of abuses to, to reach out to y'all, man. We need to come together and do something because there is people out there who care and will fight for the civil rights of these men in here. And here you're made to believe that no one gives a fuck about you one way or the other. And that's simply not the truth. And um, so they, they pulled me out for x-rays today and fucked me over on my x-rays. I told them to tell them it's my foot and my ribs, but since day one, and the lady got hostile like always, that's expected. And she said what was ordered was x-rays for my ankle, so that's what I'm gonna get. They're not worried about my foot. Nevertheless, I'm gonna soldier through it. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain, but nothing, nothing's permanent. You know, I'll get over it. And uh, Major Miller, Major Miller paid me a special visit when they moved me to ECB for a few days. He stopped at my cell and when I told him about my pain and told him I needed to see medical, he had three words for me. Mind your business. That's what he told me. That's what he told me about me getting hurt and stuff. Well, Major Miller, I got a few words for you of my own. Injustice is my business, my friend. And when y'all try to come together in a collusive practice to use the color of state to hide your egregious actions, in a manner not outlined in your official capacities to harass, abuse, and torture the loved ones of these families outside these fences with the taxpayer's money. That is my business right there. Public safety is my business for someone who has chose to rehabilitate whether you like it or not. I know you don't like it, but that's just the way it is, the way it's gonna be, man. And uh, you know, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, y'all keep y'all's head up. And if y'all don't hear from me, I will have somebody on my account as my voice, keeping y'all updated on things. The fight must go on. I appreciate y'all's support and positivity, especially during, during these last few weeks when they attacked me in handcuffs. Uh, God. For me, it was premeditated retaliation, man, for me doing political prisoner activism, you know, and, uh, but it's gonna take more than that to slow me down or stop me. You can break my neck, but you can't break my spirit and you won't break my resolve. And I first started off, this was just my way of being rebellious and sticking it to the system. But the more and more that the families of these, lo of their loved ones who's lost their lives and here and been abused and subjected to these torturous conditions in here started reaching out to me and expressing their pain and hurt and concern for their loved ones, it became super personal to me and that's where I'm at now. And I won't stop. I'll continue to fight. I'll continue to fight to make sure that the conditions in this penitentiary is exposed and that change occurs so that these men and these women coming into these prisons can come in here and actually rehabilitate and I had to worry about coming in here and, and, and this being a place that you come in and you're not guaranteed to go out because you might lose your life down here <clears throat> behind bullshit, man. So, the, you know, that's just what that is. Until later, my friends, keep your head up. Hey, let's stay together, man. Stay together. We're, we're stronger together, you know. That's what it is, man. Later.